For centuries, the life and history of the Vietnamese people was influenced by a variety of foreign invaders. However, in the 21st century, this remarkable and extremely resilient nation has emerged as a thriving, vibrant, and exciting force in Southeast Asia. 89 and a half million people live in a country a bit smaller than the state of California. Vietnam is a beautiful and historic land. 75% of Vietnamese people live in the country. Many families farm the same piece of ground that has borne sustenance for century upon century. The world's second largest supplier of rice, the success of Vietnam's farmers influences life around the globe. This has not always been the case. As recently as the mid-1980s, Vietnam was an importer of rice, facing widespread food shortages, hunger, and some say famine. The collective farming system of communism was a disaster, killing the country one rice kernel at a time. Fortunately, in the late 1980s, doi moi, a shift by the government from collective farming to individual incentive farming began Vietnam's emergence as a world player in the rice market. A few years later, a complete liberation and privatization of land and market resources completed this country's agricultural evolution, or perhaps more accurately stated, revolution. The Vietnam government continued ownership of all the land, but they allowed farmers to obtain very long-term leases that could be handed down from family to family. Traveling through the countryside for several weeks in Vietnam, filming farmers at work during harvest, one gains an appreciation for how hard these people work and how dramatically their circumstances, their lives, have changed so that they now can appreciate a good harvest. <laughs> These farmers are clearly happy, and we, of course, have provided them with a distraction and a little fun. They say they will cut all the patties today. They've been working since early this morning and have not eaten anything since then. <laughs> Their feet are wet and covered with mud and muck. And yes, they are working hard. <laughs> and jokingly said, give me money. Our reply is we didn't have any to give. Her name is Phu. This rice DV108. Yeah. <laughs> is being a farmer a good job? Cô thích cô làm tất cả cô làm nông đây thấy cái nghề nông này có cực hay là vui không? Có vui 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 Yes, 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 she says with considerable enthusiasm. <laughs> the gist of her song is that farming is fun. She says her husband went to a meeting and told me and then she started singing. The name of the song is Eradicate Hunger by Farming Twice a Year. It's hard cultivating three times a year. It's not easily done. Each year is hard and we cannot predict the future. Raking the fields, hard work, but not much comes in return. The river flows through and takes all the hard work away.